detection. We always think of leak detection as a, a layered approach, starting in the control room with our controllers monitoring the pipeline. Their uh, judgment is supplemented by our computational leak detection system, our other uh, monitoring processes, then our inline inspection tools, our visual inspections, our aerial patrols. This is one more layer to detect those very, very small leaks or detect other events along the pipeline that may not be visible from the surface and things like that. We're here today because we are announcing the Asbury program from Alberta Innovates and the Alberta uh, government. This is a funding program that was a, uh, issued as a challenge to the industry uh, for small businesses to be able to bring innovation to the, the pipeline sector for improved safety and specifically leak detection. So the, it starts with the fiber optic sensor itself, which is not telecommunications fiber. It is a specialized sensing fiber that senses in very high fidelity, that's the name of our company, uh, acoustics, uh, temperature, and vibration and strain. All in real time, all at the speed of light, um, and all being sensed at every centimeter of the sensor itself. Through that, we can actually discern various events and condition monitoring uh, that trip off those types of variables. So an acoustic alarm could trip her off a construction crew that's too close to a pipeline. Uh, a thermal event might be a forest fire that's changed course and is too close to a right-of-way. Uh, strain of vibration could be a geotechnical event like an earthquake uh, moving a, a, a piece of pipe. And then leak detection actually relies on all of those variables. So a leak will actually have a acoustic signature. It'll have a strain signature. The pipe will move when the pipe leaks. Um, and if we're close enough, we can actually detect a thermal signature. So gas will emit a cooling effect on the orifice of the leak. Um, and bitumen liquids actually have a heating uh, signature that we look for. And so we use this technology and those variables to be able to provide essentially a solution to space and time. We sense every centimeter of the asset, so we not know exactly when an incident has been, or sorry, where an incident has been detected. But we also use the speed of light 24 by seven, so we also know exactly when that incident has been detected. So the deployment of the actual fiber will be in early 2018. In Houston, it'll be, you know, sort of the first quarter of 2018. And later when it warms up in Northern Alberta, we'll be going to Hardesty to deploy the fiber optic there. We are all about assisting the industry in getting closer to 100% safety. It doesn't mean 100% incident-free incidents will happen, but if you can A, react and respond to them quicker because of our technology and others in the portfolio, and also focus on preventative nature of incidents turning into something worse, we think we actually can help the industry get closer to 100% safety.